Jubilee Evangelical Church Daily Devotion scripture reading today, please read Job 39 verses 1 to 10. Job 39 verse 1. Do you know that the time of the mountain goats gave birth? Do you observe the calving of the deer? National Geographic. I love watching Animal Channel. It's very interesting to see creatures in the wild hunting for food, making nests, or giving birth. Photographers, videographers, and zoologists sacrifice weeks and months camped in the wild to capture, observe, and record how animals in their natural habitat behave. 
they risk both life and limbs staking out in the desert, in the mountains, or in the forests. Job 39 is like watching an episode of Animal Channel. The deer. They kneel down, they bring forth their young, and they get rid of their labor pains. Their offspring become strong, they grow up in the open field, they leave and do not return to them. The wild donkey. He explores the mountains for his pasture and searches after every green thing. The wild ox. One cannot harness its great strength. The ostrich. She abandons her eggs to the earth and warms them in the dust, and she forgets that a foot may crush them or that a wild beast may trample them. She treats her young cruelly as if they were not hers. God has made her forget wisdom. When she lifts herself on high, she laughs at the horse and his rider. The horse. His majestic snorting is terrible. He rejoices in his strength, he goes out to meet the weapons, and he does not turn back from the sword. The quiver rattles against him, the flashing spear and javelin. With shaking and rage, he races over the ground. The hawk. On the cliff, he dwells and lodges upon the rocky crag, an inaccessible place. From there, he spies out food, his eyes see it from afar. His young ones also suck up blood, and where the slain are, there is he. Long before there were cameras and scientists to study animals, God knew them by heart. God knows their behavior, their habitat, and their strength. God gave them courage and wisdom, or the lack of it. Why? Because He made them. Reflection How does reading what God knows about His creation make you appreciate the Creator? Prayer Dear Heavenly Father, by Your Word, You created the birds that fly above the earth. You brought forth cattle, creeping things, and beasts. Out of the ground, You formed them all. They are all Yours, and You know each one by name. You provide for them and sustain them. Praise be to you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.